Hi, random and keeper here, and welcome to my channel where I make historical food in a modern way. In today's episode, I'm gonna make proper St. Martin's feast extremely slowly roasted goose with sweet stewed cabbage and traditional loksha. To make them you will need potatoes, semi-coarse flour and lard. Loksha is basically a flat cake from potato dough, also known as patenty or pekáče. Cook the potatoes in salted water until soft. Leave them whole and with the skin on. When cooked, leave to cool down slightly and peel them. If there is lots of potatoes or you are just lazy, you can cut out for help like I did. Then allow it to cool completely. Take a grater and push the potato through to make a mesh. Mix with the flour and that's it. Get your hands in and form a shapeable firm dough. Roll out the snake, divide into manageable pieces and roll it out flat. Use extra flour under and on the dough while rolling to prevent it from sticking. Don't worry if you make a hole in it. Try to squeeze the edges together and it should be fine. Or you can wrap it up and start making that ruined one again. Heat up a pan and bake the dough without any oil on both sides until small big dots appear. When done, immediately brush with lard, that will keep them moist and warm. I'm using a goose lard here, but any will do. For the cabbage you will need red cabbage, sugar, vinegar, onion, lard, salt and caraway. Cut up the cabbage into strips, first divide it in half, then into quarters. Cut out the hard stalk part and cut finely. Chop the onions finely too. Melt the lard in a pan and fry the onion. Add caraway seeds and stir frequently. When the onion just starts to get brown color, add sugar and let it caramelize. Be careful for it's very hot and you could burn yourself. When caramelized into amber color, add in the cabbage and mix well. Lastly, add vinegar and salt. Stir one more time and leave covered to stew until cabbage is soft. Stir in occasionally. For the goose you prepare goose, apples, caraway and salt. Prepare goose for baking. Cut out its wings. You can use it later, for soup for example. Salt well from both outside and inside and sprinkle loads of caraway seeds. Place apples into a goose, that will prevent the goose from dying and give it some flavor as well. Pour about half a glass of water in a baking tray and place the goose on a rack above it. Cover with the lid or tin foil and place in the oven. Set on 80 degrees Celsius for 12 hours. Yes, you've heard it correct. 12 hours. It's ideal to do it before sleep time. After 12 hours, remove the lid. Raise the temperature to 180 degrees of Celsius and let it to get some color. It will take about an hour. So there you have about 13 baking hours in total. There we have proper St. Martin's feast. St. Martin is on the 11th of November and has great tradition in the Czech Republic and Europe. There is a legend that gooses interrupted St. Martin during sermon and roasting them is a symbol of punishment. Another legend says that St. Martin hide among the gooses when he was about to be appointed bishop but the gooses revealed him with gaggling. Also, there is a saying that St. Martin arrives on the white horse which should predict first snow and start of winter. Accompany this feast with young St. Martin swine which is also typical for this occasion. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like or a comment, hit the subscribe button if you want, also follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Check the description for details. Thank you for watching and come back soon.